Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It is Maker's Flock Box Day. Uh, this has just been delivered by the postman and I've pretty much run straight upstairs to open it up and see what's inside. So the Makers are a UK based company specialising in all things needle felting. The founder Steffi, Steffi Stern is an amazing lady. Um, she, does, she designs all of the kits and things herself. All of the stuff they sell is sustainable and eco-friendly and all of the products are things that Steffi enjoys using herself. I was very lucky to be given a subscription to the Maker's Flock um, which is their kind of mini subscription. They do a Maker's Box which where you make a, a big item each month and they do the Maker's Flock which is all little samples and other perks and things that aren't actually in the box. Let's go to the desk. So last month's Maker's Flock Box we were making key rings and Steffi showed us how to, the box included the um, key ring findings and some cotton covered wire and Steffi showed us how to incorporate the wire into the body of our piece um, so that in effect you could turn any little small item into a key ring because the, this part is attached to the wire inside. Um, so that it's absolutely secure. So one, it just opens up so many possibilities. So I did a couple more. I made this little toadstool, this little fly agaric toadstool. Needs work, needs work. <laughs> I am, this is still early days for me. And this cute little carrot <laughs> with the googly eyes. And um, and this is all using things from in the box. And I've still got, I've still got some uh, wool left there as well. So uh, that's gone into my stash now. And I'm ready to get into the next box. It's all, all the packaging is recy recyclable and stuff, so that's always good. Should we go in? Should we go in? Should we go in? So, as I say, um, the Maker's Flock subscription isn't just about what's in the box, you also get other perks as well, which I, I will talk about in a minute. So, newsletter. Oh, the April Maker's Box. So that's the main box each month. Oh, this month we're making a donkey standing at around 19 centimetres tall with silk clay hooves and a wire armature core. The kits are also amazing. They include everything you need. And when you subscribe to the um, Maker's Box, your first box that you get includes your um, compostable, eco-friendly, felting mat and a set of needles and lots of other little bits and bobs as well so yeah it is brilliant the instructions are so good you learn something with every single kit i think maybe when this because this goes on for a year this makers flock subscription when it runs out i'll have to think about whether i want to carry on with this or maybe go for the full-on makers box i can always get individual ones though if i just thought oh, i really want to make the donkey i could buy that separately so we're seeing lots of information here Oh, look at that, green man. Oh, I'd love to be able to get to one of these. In the Forest of Dean. All tuition, tools and materials included. And accommodation and home-cooked meals. Nice. I might just have a little peek. <laughs> I'd love to make that. Oh, cat portrait in a frame, coming soon. So these are masterclasses. This is a recorded tutorial, so you can keep re-watching it, which suits me very well. I might have to have a serious look at that one. I'd love to do my Archie. Anyway, okay, let's get into the main event. As I say, all eco-friendly packaging, all recyclable and everything. Well, I tend to save the tissue and use it for collage and things. Let's get it out of the way because it's noisy. So that's the main newsletter. This is the Maker's Flock newsletter, which I'll need to look at in a minute. Oh, look at this. Now, these they call these try me samples, but look. That's a hefty sample, isn't it? Enough to make, like I say, the, the wool we got in last, I could, I'll just grab what I've got left from last month's hang on. There you go. So we got like a mini version of the Enchanted Forest pack, which I've actually got the full size version of anyway. So other than I used a little bit of white core wool, the sort of cheaper wool that you use in the center of things. But other than that, I used only what was in the box and look, look how much I've still got left. I've not to do a, a 2D landscape with as well. Okay, so this time we're looking at all these, mmm, look at all the different textures here. Oh, exciting. Now every month you get a different sheep. So every month you get a sheep swatch sample. I have to say that really carefully. 
Um, so you build up this little flock of sheep. Obviously you can use these in projects and things, but I quite like the idea of building up this little collection of swatches. And there's always the information on here to tell you what they are. So if you want to order some, um, you know exactly what to ask for. I like this. I love the variegation in that. So what is this one? Jacob striped tops. So tops are the, the smooth, all the fibres laying in one direction ones that you tend to use as a top coat. And bats are the more, bats are where you've got where the, the fibres are more all of a mass still. They're not all lying smoothly in the same direction. You tend to use these for building up the shapes and things. They felt together quicker. Um, with the first Makers Flock subscription, you get extra gifts as well. Um, as I say, it's not all about just what you just what is in the box. You get, for example, you get a, a, an embroidered cloth badge. If you take that with you to stitch festivals and things where the makers are, have a stand, if you show it to them, you'll get a discount. I think it's a ten percent discount. You also get discounts on a selected range of project pro, products, which is different each month. We'll find out in a minute what it is this month. Usually, something to do with whatever the samples in the box are. <laughs> might be tempted you get free tutorials um, you get ex access to the makers flock corner of the website where you can find free tutorials and there's a makers flock gathering every month and a makers flock Facebook group that only makers flock members can join and you get a, a gathering each month with a tutorial using the products that are in that month's box eventually those tutorials all go on their YouTube channel um, and I will I will link to that below because there's lots of free tutorials on there so it's well worth a look even if you don't get their boxes you can still get lots of uh, very useful tutorials and advice and tips and things oh, little hedgehog. okay a little note from Steffi I'll read all this properly, properly later so I thought it would be nice to teach you some techniques on how to make curly fur using tops or curls or both exciting but also how to make long fur by planting wool tops <laughs> if you're still struggling getting over the winter blues then join us during our flock gathering and i'll certainly try my best to cheer you up they are fun the makers flock gatherings are really fun i've missed the live the last the last uh, time or two um but you can always catch up on them later so your sheep swatch sample jacob's striped tops these natural tops are perfect for making hedgehog spikes believe it or not April's tutorial how to make long how to make curly and long fur for your makes okay the try me products so that's these ones that are in the bag and um, that is the only bit of plastic that you get and I don't mind this kind of plastic because they're self seal bags that I will use for a long time to store my walls in they're not single use plastics that I've got to put in the bin they're really useful so that I don't mind that and you've got to put them in something to keep the wall in good condition so okay oh yeah the 20% off items all loopy locks and natural wool tops oh, I think I'm going to be tempted this time 20% off is good isn't it okay so the try me products we've got light loopy locks and that's probably this it's like a um, a yarn isn't it that you could knit or crochet with with, with all loops natural grey merino tops that must be this I know it's tops because it's all smooth. It looks like a grey hair, doesn't it? On a lady, looking at a lady from behind. Oh man, with amazing grey hair. Jet black tops and BFL. It must be something locks. PFL. Light brown. Why not have a play around and see what kinds of fur you can create for your needle felted makes with this month's Try Me products? Beautiful. Just love that texture. The smell the sheep. In a nice way, not not stinky sheep, you know, lanolin. I might just put that last leftover little bit of, because there's a little bit of curly locks in here as well. I'm just going to put that in together. This one from last month had this, had, had this green as well. I wouldn't mind getting some more of it in different colours like this. I think it's lovely for all sorts of things. What I'm going to do now is go on to the Maker's Flock corner and I should be able to see the tutorial for this and I might have a go at it early rather than wait until the Maker's Flock gathering because that's not until the 29th of April. So yeah, I think I might have a go at it now. Sorry about my neighbour's dog barking again. Okay, let's just go and have a quick look at the website. So here's um, the Maker's. 
this is the subscription so you've got the main makers box subscription it's the donkey this month this is the makers flock so you can see all the information here they do worldwide memberships but obviously it costs more because of the, the cost of shipping you can get digital membership so if you just want to have access to the the discounts and the tutorials and the facebook group and all of that stuff you can you can just have a digital membership well i've gone into the members corner now so you can only see this if you're a flock member and here's where you can find all of the free tutorials uh, so here's my curly hedgehog Tells me easy beginner. It's eight centimeters long. Nice. Now I don't know. I don't think this is exactly the same walls as we've got in the try me samples, but I've certainly got. You know, these will certainly work. That's interesting. There, the angel policy there. Um, the copyright information. You're very welcome to sell finished needle felted items that you've made using these instructions, and we love it if you give us a mention. However, you can't sell or copy the instructions. Absolutely fair enough. Well, that's good to know. And you can't use these instructions in workshops absolutely fair enough as well i have downloaded my pdf now um that's very quick to do took a few seconds <laughs> so i think what i'm going to do um because i've got I've, I've got that i've got access to that little tutorial already and i've got enough here to make that little hedgehog with but when we have the makers flock gathering at the end of the month steffi's gonna tell us how to use these which must be the light loopy locks so I'll, I will save them i will save these and i will and, and most of this as well but i'm probably going to use these blue face lester curly things to make this hedgehog now and i'll use some of the cobble that i've already got so i can have a little go at making something now and then i'll still have enough left to join in with the um the tutorial on, on the maker's flock at the end of the month so i'm gonna have a little go at this uh hedgehog tutorial now and i'll show you some little clip little clips of it i can't show the whole thing it's not my tutorial to share if you want to make something like this i would say go on the um maker's flock youtube channel I'll, I'll i'll link to them below there's all there's all sorts of free tutorials on there okay i'm going in i'm going in i've just realized i've been chatting away to myself <laughs> So I've basically made myself roughly the, the shape that the, the uh, tutorial has told me to go for. It's kind of somewhere between 8 and eight and 10 centimetres. I've made mine a bit on the smaller side. Um, you didn't miss much. I just kind of rolled this into a ball and, and started stabbing like this to uh, compact it all a bit. And now I'm just going into this end to start forming the shape of where the snout will be. And it's really handy that at the instructions, at, at the end of the instructions, you've got a little template, an actual size template that you can use to help you make sure you're getting the shape right. I'm not going to bother printing it off. I'm, I'm hoping I can do this by eye without having to bother printing. Steffi's instructions have been brilliant. Every single kit that I've done I've learned something from every every one of them. And of course you can then take that on into the future and, and do your own creations using the techniques that you've learned from these kits. And even if you don't have their kits, um, you can still access tutorials and things on the, on the YouTube channel. I would say if you wanna get hold of felting supplies, um, I can't recommend the makers highly enough. <laughs> this is like camouflaged against my <laughs> against my felting mat. Look. You can see sort of where I'm going. It's already looking a bit hedgehoggy shaped. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on working on this. I'm just going to shape this now a little bit more, and uh, and then I'll be back because it's time to do the legs. Right, I've um, made three out of four little legs now. So you kind of basically start off with. I thought was about the right amount of of wool and then divided it into four so that I could get them as, as even as possible and then I'm going to just leave one end wispy for joining onto the body I'm sort of folding the other end up and rolling it to form the leg shape it might be a little bit too chunky in my my legs best okay I'm not going for hyper realism here <laughs> so I keep going like that and then 
um, you've got to create a little foot, a little bend. Um, and you just do that by, by stabbing in repeatedly at the same point and that should make it start to bend. Make sure you keep picking it up off the, off the mat or it will felt itself to the mat. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to make the little leg bend. I think it's just such a forgiving craft because, you know, um, if you make mistakes, you can just join a bit on or if you're quick, you can pull a bit off. <laughs> and I also love that even when you, even if you've got a kit, um, with the same supplies as everyone else is using and you're following the same instructions because it's so kind of organic every single one's going to turn out really different anyway so I think that's kind of what I'm aiming at I've got that little foot now and then I'm going to join it onto the body I think my body's a bit more flat at the bottom but that's okay and I could round it out a little bit the kind of bend in the foot has got to go towards the front so they'll all they'll all go kind of yeah quite near the middle of the sort of tummy part of the hedgehog and I've left these bits wispy because I just yeah that'll make it easier to join them onto the main body of the hedgehog okay I think that's about right so now I'm going to join it on just by stabbing through the, the top of the leg and straight into the body. Sorry hedgehog. <laughs> so I'm going to do that with all four legs and then I might end up just doing some extra little wisps across where the joins are just to, you know, just to smooth out where, where they're joined. Okay, I'm going to do all four and then I'll be back. The little legs are on. I think I might just put a little bit of the this um the grey that we got in the kit just over the top so that's so this is tops so it'll give me a kind of a smooth if I lay them all in the direction the fur would grow it'll, I think it'll just some of the darker grey will still show underneath so I, th I think that'll look good so this is me going away from the instructions but that's the thing you can always put your own little spin on things Usually you sort of pull them apart to divide the wool up, but sometimes it's okay to sort of cut it as well. Just depends what you're doing. And I feel like I just want a little lighter bit on the on the tummy, so I'm just going back and using some of that uh, core wool. That's too big. Just need little tiny wisps of it. Just want to make the tummy a little bit lighter than the rest. And take a little wisp of the black from the box really tiny bit like that I'm just gonna roll it up to make uh, make a little nose and to add a little bit more loads of that black you can mix them as well um, that might be one of the things that well, that we're going to be doing perhaps mixing the black and the grey to create natural looking fur what I might do I don't know if the tutorial says it but what I might do is put a little bit of clear glue PVA type stuff um, onto the nose to make it sort of smoother and slightly shiny looking like the little noses would be okay there's my little nose now I'm going to make a mouth um, and you just you can make a line shape by keep going in the same place over and over you have to go quite slow and careful what I do anyway but you can create quite a definite line hope I got that in the right sort of place whoops yeah, I'll probably just work on that a little bit more to define it I might even put get a little wisp of pink from my stash and just put a little tiny wisp of pink there 
just like you can slightly see the inside of his mouth just felt all over a little bit more to firm all this up and I might even trim off some of the wispy bits that I don't want I need to put eyes in so I need to dig out some brads make a hole to put the eyes in glue the glue them in um, yeah so I'm, I'm gonna just find some um, find some brads that will work for eyes and I'll be back in a mo. It looks more like a mole at the moment doesn't he? <laughs> I've um, added some white to the tummy and sort of blended it out um, up the legs and things. Um, I've dug out a couple of little split pins, little brads from my paper crafting supplies which I think will work for eyes. I've defined the the little mouth a bit more so last he wasn't smiling on both sides. Whoops, mind the finger. So that's his little mouth. Um, so now I'm just going to make holes where the where the eyes will go, which I think will be about here. It's going to be about right. Yeah, I reckon that'll be okay. The instructions tell you to push the needle right through to make a make a big hole where the eye will go. I reckon that'll work for a little eye, quite cute. So now I've just got to get the other one symmetrical. I wonder if I can make a little mark or something. Yeah, that sort of worked. Let's just make the, make the hole a bit deeper. They might be slightly asymmetrical, but as I keep saying this year, my one of my mottos for this year is embrace the wonk. Okay, so I think I've got those kind of reasonably, reasonably the same both sides. So I just need a little bit of glue now. I think I'm going to use my strong glue rather than, because I'm sticking metal in there. I feel like I want them sunk in a bit more. <laughs> so now all I've got to do is the most fun part really, which is adding these little curls. Just sort of stab them into stab them into place. I'll have a look at the PDF or some on oh, some photos, I'll get some photo references up. How far you know what shape to, to make the face I guess oh that's going to be so cute and um, I won't sort of stab all over I don't want to lose the the curliness I'm going to keep working on this and then I'll come back when I've when I've got uh, little little curls all over I think my little guy is done how cute is he <laughs> I think this is his best side. I brought down a little kind of almost like a, a widow's peak kind of effect here. I think if I had more of the curly stuff, I'd probably put even more on. But of course, that is the, the discount this month is on the curly locks and things, isn't it? So <laughs> I might quite well get some more. Yeah. And he does stand. Oh, hang on. Yes, he does stand. Yeah, really, really chuffed with him. Cute little guy. It's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from me. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again really soon.